we get asked a lot about fonts and how to categorize fonts and how to be able to locate the fonts that you really like easily in the software. So we've added a really neat feature in this latest update and to get to it you have to go to the preferences. So we're going to go to the program preferences by clicking on this icon right here and when you do that it's going to bring up the preferences box here and we added this tab over to the right called fonts. So let's say that you have a few of your favorite fonts you've already located which ones they are that you you go to most and what you have the ability to do is come over into this enabled fonts section and by enabled that means these are ones that you want to show up in your text box for selecting um, so we have favorites enabled and disabled enabled means it's going to show up in your drop down list Disabled will remove it from that list, but you still have the font. Um, you can come back in and enable it at any time. It'll just uh, remove it from the drop down list so you don't see it because sometimes maybe there's a few fonts that you just know you'll never use and you would like for your list of fonts to get shorter. You can just disable them. It's not going to remove them from your computer and you can always come back in and select them and re-enable them. So let me go ahead and show you how this works. So let's say that I'm going to come down here. Let's say that um, one of my favorite fonts to use is let's come in here. I'm still looking down here. Let's say that one of my favorite fonts to use is this uh, port four millimeter. All I have to do is select it right here and hit favorites and let's go ahead and click a couple others. And I'm coming to coming down like stir fry. Let me click that and let's come in here. Let's say wasabi and let's say that this toffee. Let's say that these are my favorite fonts. Okay so I mark them as favorite and let's go ahead and come in here and say, you know what, I'm never going to use the applique fonts because uh, I'll create them myself with the true type fonts, just whatever reason you might have for disabling a font, just so you can shorten up the list there. So let's say I don't want to see these, I want these to be my favorites, and we have our enabled font. So let me go ahead and hit OK, and let me show you how this works. So I'm going to come into my text box here. And I'm going to click my text tool. And now when I come to the drop down list, at the very top are going to be my favorites. So any of them that I've marked as my favorite, they're going to show up at the very top of the list. Um, because as you know, typically the font drop down list is alphabetical. So it would only do it, you would have to scroll down to like the letter P for the port four millimeter if you wanted to use that or to the S's to use stir fry. So what it does, it drops them up at the top. Now you'll remember that I took the applique fonts and I disabled them. So you'll notice that in here those those applique fonts are missing from here. I've, I've disabled them so they don't show up on the list. So it's a really nice feature. Let me come back into the preferences now and um, I might need to unselect this fonts here. Let's come back in here and let's go back to fonts and let's say, you know what, I missed a couple. I really, I really like um, utilizing my 60 weight thread. So I want to come in here and, and make any of these have three or four millimeter next to it, like this Linda five millimeter. I want to make them my favorites because I like to utilize those a lot. Okay, so I added more to the list and let's say, you know what, I really do want to have these applique fonts in that list. So all I did is select it and then hit enable and it throws it back into the list here and they should show up next time. So let's come in here to the text tool and you'll notice that now I have all of those that I've added as my favorites are now in this list as well. And notice that my applique fonts are in the drop down list again because I re enabled them. So 
that's how the little font manager works it's really nice it's really handy because we all have our favorite fonts that we go to time and time again and it just makes it easy to mark it as your favorite so they're always right up at the top of the list and if there's any fonts that you just don't think you're going to use ever you can disable them so that you can make this list shorter if you choose to so i think you'll love this new font uh, manager and it'll make it easy for you to locate the fonts that you really love in the software much faster and easier so hope you enjoy